from the love and support it means so much to me and it makes me very very excited um some of you may already know but i'm going to say it for anyone that's new that's tapped on this video today i uh, generally tap into the masculine energy and for people that are in some kind of challenge or separation with their twin flame um when I say separation, I mean preparation because you're just not with the physical person, but you're one soul, so you're always together. Um, so I hope that helps you um, look at it in a different way so you don't feel alone and the loss of your twin. So <coughs> it's preparation, so you both are concentrating on your spiritual journey. So that's all sorts of help, so you can come back together as one and much better energy. So. Right, I'm going to use Ambika Waters Oracle cards today. I'm just going to pick two cards, but I'm going to do more of an in-depth message because I've got a book here for an additional message just to see what is going on with the mask and in, where his energy is at and how God is assisting him, so what he wants you to know what's going on at the moment because I know how important it is for the person that's watching. Um, when I use the term feminine, masculine, it's just energy, I realise that, and it's just labels. Um, just put it into your situations. Don't be offended if I say him, her, he, she. Um, just put it into your circumstances and situation and how it resonates to you. Um, right, I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. What is... I, I have asked for God's guidance help me channel this reading. So what would you like the person to know that's watching today that's going what's going on with their masculine and how are you assisting masculine for the moment? Nice clear message. Please God. These cards are really nice, they're very deep, spiritual. They're quite short messages, as I said, but I'm going to go into my book to read a longer message to get a better understanding. And then at the end, I'm going to do a card for the person that's watching. Uh, the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. So, and I'll do the communication and the energy pops as well, so... Right, let's get two cards. The South and Children. Okay. Let's read the message on the card before I go to the book. The South, I let go of all pain and tension as I float in the sea of divine love. So he's your masculine is, and God is helping him let go of all pain and tension and everything that's negative. So he's releasing old patterns, um, just negativity. So he's on the path of letting go. So that's really good. Um, so I'm going to get the additional message. Let's see. angel gives us guidance in all aspects of grounding ourselves in material reality. It blesses our senses so that we may fully experience the world around us in and through our physical bodies. We use the earth element to ground our spirituality in the world of form and enables us to manifest our highest hopes and re realise our dreams. The shift from creative thought to physical form requires us to use all of our senses to the best of our abilities. Earthing our energy gives us structure, stability and security so that we may realise our true creative nature. We can pray to the Angel Prince of the South to bless our senses and help us materialise our dreams. This Angel also blesses us with bodily ease so that we are freed from stress and tension and are better able to experience pleasure. When we are well 
when we are well in our bodies, we release good energy, which is healing to ourselves and those around us. It's how we make our planet a better place by actually being happy. The angel prince of the self encourages us to listen to our bodies and treat ourselves respectfully. Respectfully. This means that we look after ourselves, feeding, clothing, resting and exercising our bodies with care and thought. Under the angel's guidance, we can become sensitive caretakers of the temple which houses the spirit. This angel can help us stop abusive habits which weaken the body. Our senses are most alive when we give ourselves healthy food, clothing made from natural fibre, sufficient rest and aid, ample exercise and space to be ourselves. We honour we honor this angel when we honour our physical form and in it return blesses us. This angel encourages us and supports us in our efforts to be efforts to be grounded on the earth plane and in expressing our sharing ourselves. This angel rules over the element of the earth and the psychological function of sensation. It holds a sheaf of wheat to enphase its association with fruits of the earth. It inspires us to look after our planet and the needs to our physical bodies with care and awareness. So what this says to me is that your masculine is learning and you know letting go of like I said releasing old patterns and trying to be himself and um, come to terms with his feelings in the actual 3D as well coping with it in the 3D of what's going on trying to ground himself um, and about God is helping him and, uh, and guiding him to actually look after himself and be aware of um, negative habits maybe that he's been doing and to correct them in some way to take care of himself and when he's taking care and feeling well and healthy in himself that's when you're in a better energy um, to have, you know just better flowing energy and that is what is exposed to the what to everybody and everybody can see that and then you people are attracted and can see that you're actually shining and glowing so um, it's about taking care of himself and when he's thinking and he's in a better energy because he's taking care of himself and feeling well and healthy that's when he's gonna attract this good energy and manifest all the dreams and everything he's wanting and having the confidence um, and courage that he's wanting to come towards the person that's watching today um, he's going to be able to manifest his highest hopes and realise what dreams come into the realisation what he actually wants to do with his life. So this is really positive. Um, so he, as I said in my last reading as well, he's definitely letting go of pain. So he, in the, in when you're in that energy, it can be discomfort. You know, he could be feeling uncomfortable and uh, to come into this realisation of realising um, certain things is uncomfortable and quite painful. So. He's releasing his pain and how he's feeling, you know, his higher self and in the 5D he's coming more down into the 3D and he's going to be able to put it into action and um, be stronger and think straight and clearer of what he actually wants in the 3D, not just in the 5D, he's actually going to be doing it in the 3D. So. Um, that's how God is assisting him and what he's going through at the moment. So it's very, very positive. And yeah, so he could be, you know, thinking about, as I said, old habits that, that weren't serving him and trying to change things. Um, so he's looking after himself better and becoming, looking after his well-being because that's really important. Because when you're in that energy. That's when you can think straight and you can manifest your dreams and um, it's just a nicer energy to be in. So that's beautiful. Um, I'm going to do the children card now. Let's have a look what it says. I honour the precious child within me. I nourish and cherish all the new beginnings. So he's in. A, he could be dealing with inner child stuff at the moment. And um, yeah, just honouring himself and nourishing he's in a child and he's want you know he wants new beginning and when you see a card with children or 
you know, a baby, this angel is holding a baby. It's about new beginnings, birth to new beginnings. So the dreams and the hopes that he's going to be manifesting could involve children. Um, a new, just a new beginning with the person that's watching. He wants this new life. He, he wants this new beginning. He wants to release old patterns of, you know, old energy that wasn't serving him. But I'm going to do a deeper, more intense message. Get my book to give a clearer message to the person that's watching today. So this is all good. Um, children. This beautiful angel guards and protects all that is new and young in life, especially newborn babies. It watches over anything that is, a begin is beginning to grow and that needs extra nourishment and gentleness and care. The protective angel who watches over all the new souls incarnated into earthly life. This angel helps mothers and babies at birth. It also guides and protects all those who help to manage young babies and children. Every new baby and young person is blessed, protected and cherished by this garden angel. This angel also assists at any new beginnings of new projects or relationships. It protects whatever is fresh and vulnerable, helping to nourish, um, nurture and sustain what is young so that you can grow strong and resilient. Whatever is new in your life can be blessed by the loving, vigilant care of, offered by this angel. By praying to the garden angel of children, we can give thanks and rejoice in the miracle of new life. We can ask for guidance and protection for all that is young and tender within us. We can ask this blessing for our families, friends and those who are associated within our new jobs, as well as others whom we come into contact on a daily basis. All that is young and tender in us, vulnerable or need of care, deserves a blessing from this special guardian angel. It will help to protect what is innocent and pure in all of us. The inner child who longs for acceptance and cher cherishing is acknowledged by the garden angel. The garden angel of children can help us to touch the child who, in us who is lonely or uninvolved. It can also help us heal deep wounds where there has been um, where there has been lack of love or even abuse. We can ask this guardian angel to help us release pain, sorrow and upsetting memories from our past and to find healing from our spirits. This angel offers the protection that all new beginnings require to grow and flourish. It gives us nurturing we need to acquire our strength and fill our ability in new stability sorry, in new situation. It allows the tender blooms of all new beginnings to root and take hold in solid ground. So this angel is protecting your relationship with your masculine and helping him, you know, like we've had in this card, and let go of the past and deal with deep wounds that are inside, you know, his inner child that needs loving. And he's protected, you know, God is helping your masculine and protecting your relationship um, and pushing forward this new beginning. I mean, it's protected and um, just helping your masculine feel more secure and confident about his own feelings. Um, this is really, really exciting, very exciting. It's just it's saying that he, you know, he's, he's about this new beginning, it's definitely happening. He, he's wanting this relationship. And you know, this because it's the children card, there could be children that are involved in this, you know, this relationship, um, the connection, as it could be involving you, or he might have children, um, and the masculines that I've been tapping into has obviously got a gift with children as well. We've had that card quite a lot um, recently, so, and, you know, it says about unborn children, so it, it, there's quite a lot of different, um, explanations for this card of what's happening but this angel assists new beginnings and new relationships so this angel is protecting this relationship and encouraging your masculine um, to make him feel safe about how he's feeling and more so in the 3d you know he's 
he's moving forward to this new beginning. He knows that he wants this new beginning with the person that's watching. Um, and you know, again, if you're feeling like there's you, know, you can't see anything changing or this is frustrating you, a lot's going on behind the scenes that you can't see and you need to trust and believe that that is happening because this relationship is being protect, you know, protected and everything is about divine timing and when God, you know, God's plan, when it's divine timing, that's when it will happen. When God says it happens, God is in charge and it's got to be all right, you know, for everybody involved and mm -hmm. You need to keep trusting and believing and um, get rid of, you need to get old, rid of old patterns and release that as well um, and think about what's happening to you in the now and don't look too far in the future and definitely don't look in the past because you've grown as a person and your masculine's grown as a person but the garden angel of children is protecting and guiding your masculine to help him honor his own inner child and deal with deep wounds that need that are coming up that need to be released um, and about cherishing and you know helping him come forward for this new beginning both of you want and he's coming to the realization of what he wants in his life um, and he's definitely releasing old patterns. So, you know, in the 3D, he's definitely coming more down into 3D, what's going on, he's gonna come, he will be coming forwards. Um, so this is really, really exciting, and it's very loving, um, um, these cards, and um, very deep. And it's really nice to know that you're both being so protected, and everything is, go is moving forwards even though you can't see maybe there's, there's no difference maybe you can feel it in your energy that there's a difference but things are m moving forwards um so these are really really lovely cards and if, if your masculine is feeling uncomfortable it's all good anyway i know that sounds upsetting but it is good because it's coming to a surface and you can release and get rid of things and deal with things that need to be sorted so you can have this new beginning with with you, the person that's watching. So that's really lovely. And um, let's see what energy, my energy parts. What's the energy using at the moment, and how you know towards you? Emotional, yeah. So he's feeling emotional because he's releasing and letting go of old pain. He's dealing with his inner child, and releasing old patterns of he's been more himself he's been encouraged to be more himself and this can be very emotional as you know when you're releasing stuff it doesn't serve you anymore eternal love yeah he's feeling eternal love he knows this is eternal love and he wants this new beginning with you so this is lovely I'm going to say lovely instead of beautiful because I always say it's beautiful I mean, it must be so annoying to watch Right, what would he like to communicate with you in the 3D? And what would, is he communicating to you in 5D? What's going to come out the message? Right, again. So, I'm scared of intimacy. This came out last time as well. So this is, of, you know, he's very afraid of, I'm scared of intimacy. So he's scared have been close um, and that's why you know some of this you know inner child stuff is coming up because there's wounds and things from his childhood and maybe he's never felt you know being loved or been shown how to love or or been close to anybody before he's not experienced this love um, and it scares him and he's scared of being having the you know the intimacy the intimacy part of this relationship he's scared so he's very afraid so that's what he would say I'm scared of intimacy so he needs you to send him loving thoughts and energy and you know as I said last time when this came out if you're scared there's something that you need to 
address as well. Because your energy goes to your masculine. Right, what else would he like to say to you if he had the chance? Please forgive me. So yeah, he's definitely releasing stuff. He wants you to forgive him. So if there's something, there's been a situation, what hasn't, you know, he, he hasn't been, he's done something wrong in the past that you need to forgive. He wants you to forgive him. He wants to know that you forgive him. So if you, um, you know, you definitely need to send him loving and good energy because you know, I think by this stage, the people who are actually watching this video, you've probably dealt with forgiveness, or there might be something where you think that you've forgiven your masculine, but it might come up again, in, or trigger you in some way, the thought of it or something. You need to deal with it and, and actually um, practice forgiveness and deal with this, and not look, you know, don't go back into the past of what happened. Because what happened, you know, it's not relevant anymore. It's about now and, how much you've grown and how much your person, the masculine, has grown. Um, and he needs to feel this forgiveness from you. So, and everything, as I've said many times before, everything that has happened in the past, it's all happened for a reason because both of you have, you know, things that you need to deal with and things that have triggered you, the stuff that needs to come to the surface and you need to deal with. This is what this whole twin flame journey is about. It's about the being the best version of yourself and feeling unconditional love for yourself and for your person. So that is very beautiful again. And I'm gonna get the card for you now, the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirits to help you stay focused and give you strength. And what is the message that God wants you to know today as well? So what is the message today for that you'd like the person to know that's watching today? help them on their journey. What do they need to know to say, God? Right. In a child, oh my gosh, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> We've just dealt with in a child with this children card, and new beginnings, and now we have it for you. So let's see what the message says. It's now time to connect with your inner child. There are so many ways to do this. You can go and play, have fun, create, nur create, nurture, but the main message is to love yourself. Your inner child has been longing for this connection for so long. Think about the memories of when you were a child. Now visualize yourself in here and now and meeting your inner child giving that inner child a huge big welcoming hug and reassuring love reaffirming to them that, that you are safe and everything is good and the action to take is go and play and have fun and don't take yourself too seriously let yourself be absolutely free and do not worry about what other people may think it's time to truly live and love life I reconnect with my inner child and it feels wonderful when I'm safe and so loved. That was the affirmation. So yes, so there's inner child stuff that you need to um, deal with and you need to nourish and love yourself as well. Um, and the more you love yourself and nurture your inner child, you're helping your masculine as well because you're one soul, you know, it's very, good way of looking at it the more you're taking care of yourself and focusing on yourself instead of the physical person you're masculine you're you're, you're take you're, you're loving him more than anything because you're it's about loving yourself because you're one soul and he will feel that and this will help him um, on his journey and for him to have the courage and the confidence to come towards you so think about you as a child and how you would like to comfort that child or things that memories that come up that you wish that you could comfort and um, be there for that child you know just loving it and um, be free don't be so serious about everything um, and yes it's about self-love concentrate on yourself loving yourself doing things for yourself 
your self-worth, know how good and amazing you are because what you're doing is doing it for your twin anyway because you're one soul. So this is amazing that both of these cards are about inner child today, so both of you could be dealing with it. Um, but you mirror each other anyway, so as I said, keep focusing on yourself and loving yourself because it's what is going to help your masculine. Um, so this is beautiful, this reading, once again. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and it resonates with you in your situation and it's helped you in some way. Um, I really love doing it. I love doing these readings as well because it's helpful for me and I find it very therapeutic. The messages aren't just for you, the person that's watching, it's for me as well because I'm on my spiritual journey and it was triggered by my twin flame. And even though I'm saying and sound confident about what I'm saying to you, it's about I'm saying it to myself as well because I need to know this stuff. And um, we're helping each other. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to help other people. And by doing that, I'm helping myself as well. So it's just worked out lovely. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and and like this video if you really liked it it'd mean the world to me and i'll do a, another reading in a couple of days for the masculine and um, i'm sending all my love support and light to you all when i'm thinking of you and i'll see you in a few days bye